Hey guys, this is Kira. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Now, this is a little bit different from my makeup videos. This is kind of going back to my nail videos because, like I said before, I'm kind of all over the place. I have a lot of interests. Um, so I just got my package in um, from Red Iguana. I marked out our addresses because, well, that's just none of your business. So, as you can tell, my nails have been on a break and it's been a long time since I've done any nail videos. Um, I don't like to do my clients because, one, when they're here, it's a super relaxed environment and we're just pretty much bullshitting and drinking wine while I'm doing their nails and stuff and, and it's been a long time since I've recorded my own nails. Um, but I think now that I'm going to have this practice hand that's a lot better than my old plastic that was super bulky, hella annoying, it was hard to put forms on them and stuff, they were just a pain in the ass. So I'm really hoping that this is going to help me not only have that realistic feel of the hand, but also the fact that I can pose, I did buy the posing one. But anyways, let me just open it and see so that way y'all can watch it with me or, you know, kind of in live time without being live. Oh, she's got a cute little sticker. I didn't even notice that until I turned it over to cut it open. I literally just got this. So there comes with instructions with how to take care of your hands. So excited. <laughs> I've got my hands. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I can't remember if I got the regular tone or the tan tone. I just know I didn't want it to be my tone because I'm blinding, okay? Look at that detail. See the all the marks, all the cute little wrinkles on the hand. I'm just going to go walk around and high five myself. <laughs> I can pose her fingers. Let's see how much bigger her hand is from mine. Alright, so we actually have very similar hands. Her pinky is a little bit longer than mine. Okay, she has a little bit longer fingers, but she has about the same nail bed size as mine. So that's cool. So I'll be like practicing on myself. Alright, this is too much fun. This is really fantastic. I cannot wait to try a nail look on this. So, so far, I'm really liking this. I'm really enjoying the fact that I can pose this hand. I need to stop. I, need, I just need to stop. What I need to do now is, I guess, include a demonstration. So I'm starting off by buffing the nails. As you can tell, I've already clipped them and filed them to where it'd be like more of a natural length. And I don't normally use tips, but I wanted to try the tips that I ordered from Glitter Planet UK with the pre-pinched. Um, as you can tell, I made the pinky a little bit too wide, so I had to file the edges. And even though this is a practice hand, I'm still treating it kind of like as if it's a real client by putting the um, the clear coat, I mean, <laughs> the clear layer of acrylic down first. And I'm not doing an actual tutorial on this, but if you do end up wanting a tutorial on any of these, I'll be more than happy to do that later. This is just a quick demo to see how I got to use the hand. And so far, I actually really enjoy it. Now, I did struggle a little bit with figuring out how to file the nail um, because that's something that is a little bit different when you're filing a fake hand compared to a real hand. Um, <laughs> so I did have that little bit of a learning curve. Um, but overall, this was a really great buy. I am so glad that I finally decided to take the jump to get it and I got it while it was on sale. Um, during her Red Iguana's Labor Day sale. So I got it 20% off. And I'll share the link of, of her website of where you could get it if you did decide to, to get one. Um, 
But yeah, I th- <laughs> this is a great buy if there's something that you want to be able to do on your off time. If you don't want to do your own nails, as you can tell, my nails are super haggard right now. But I'm going to be working on that. I have an event coming up, so I'm going to be redoing my nails soon. I'm probably not going to record it because I'm going to have to figure out a way to to do it on my off time. As you can tell with this nail, it's just kind of haphazardly <laughs> Putting in different colors, creating a fall kind of marble. Maybe not so much a marble. I think I was going for more of a granite kind of, like a fall granite stone instead of a marbled stone, which is, I don't know if that's even a thing or not. But as you can tell, I also use the uh, the form on the other hand. Make sure if you're going to be using the form to hold on to that form because I have not figured out how to to keep it to stick to the actual silicone. But other than that, this is a great buy. I hope you enjoy and thank you for joining me and you have a most wonderful day. At the end, I have some close-up shots of the nails. So this is my first time doing something like this. Wanted it quick, simple, nothing too crazy. But... You guys have an amazing day. Thank you. Bye.